Hello, guys. So here we talk a little bit about the STM32 F072 series, which is the BU6 target, which is the MCU that, <coughs> sorry, I do have a bit of a cough, but it's the MCU that the compute module uses. And for peripheral active vision, we essentially um, want to do asynchronous data, and then um, we want to actually have regulators for the different baud rates. But the goal is to utilize very low power consumption. So the goal is for this MCU in particular, along with, we'll try the same with um, other MCUs, but the core pinout for a lot of the actual modules like UART and stuff like that and being able to control it for the asynchronous data rates. Our goal is to be able to have two hours. I mean, sorry, I don't know why I said two hours, but two months is 27 days and 21 hours of battery life um, before um, needing to go through another power cycle. And this is because the regulators and the low power consumption. So for being able to provide um, real-time signal telemetry and connectivity, it shouldn't be an issue. And again, this is just the development board variation. So this is a pre-successor variation. And we tried it doing um, the different steps for different power consumption configurations, mainly on the digital side, but also digital and analog. We don't want to go over a lot of those core steps in our data report because obviously we do have some sort of secret sauce. Um, still unknown device descriptors. What's left is probably the near real time embedded OS, which is again, continuous work on progress, but we have the power state mappings for the star compute module. But in regards to the actual data in relation to this particular MCU, if you go here, right, if you could zoom in the data and you could actually see, um, we also do this for VBAT as well. And you could actually see the TA max by step, average TA max, TA max low and all that. And then if you look at um, the activated peripherals consumption, you see the CRC flash, the system ports, the USR to USB analog and digital side by side comparison. And then um, DIMPS. So the reason DMIPS is actually unknown. So it's not actually zero, it's actually unknown. But besides that, you obviously have the MCU series, which is again one of the core MCUs in our board. And again, the objectives. Objective is obviously to implement, especially for power consumption, is deep sleep. And this report was actually generated um, today or depending on when you see this, August 5th. So that's a little minor update in regards to what's been going on in relationship to development with the board. But deep sleep is obviously something that is very crucial to implement.